Hi guys, it's Draws Mikhail here, and welcome to the, another episode of Star Wars Battlefront 2. Today we'll be tr playing the training mission, because my friend is... I, I want him to play the game, and this is my way of telling him. I'll just sit back and... Uh, my first day as a member play. of the 501st. It was hot, it was sandy, chaotic. Nothing at all like the simulations on Kamino. Of course, that's pretty much the way it was for all of us, wasn't it? All that breeding, all those years of training. It doesn't really prepare you for all the screaming or the blood, does it? Frankly, I'm still amazed we ever made it through the first hour. Never mind the first day. Wasn't that cinematic cinematic? I don't care. But today we're just going to be starting off as the classic Star Wars Battlefront 1 clone trooper class. Because... Attack of the Clones happened when the troopers still look kind of derpy, but they're easily recognizable. And now they're just gray or whatever. Oh boy, missions. Isn't that fun? Well, we got to take out some super battle droids. As you can see, we're all alone in this mission. How, how much pressure does that put on us? We're all just so great. Oh, I'd, wait a minute. So the models were in the game all the time. Yep. Sure. Whatever. Just take it out with your blaster. Whatever. Well, this is what the game is, guys. It's just if you play regular old conquest mode, except there's limited number of troops and it's more about the uh, the capturing of the control points, like TF2. Hooray. And the only difference there is, uh, as you can see, the engineer class just has a shotgun, oh boy. And he can repair stuff, oh boy. I wonder where they got inspiration. Ooh. Uh, the only difference there is you can take back your control points. Okay. Let's, uh, and there's vehicles. One of the most fun mechanics of this game is there's vehicles. Oh man. But there's always counters to vehicles, like other vehicles or the heavy troopers, which we'll get into later. And I don't know why, just... I have the mindset of just walking forward doing this. And now we get to switch to uh, one of my more favorite classes of the original Star Wars Battlefront, the uh, the Jet Trooper class. Ooh, boy. So what the jump trooper, the Jet Trooper class is? It's a uh, class with a jet pack and a rocket launcher and a pistol. It's a pretty cool thing. Uh, uh, unfortunately, you cannot use your. Uh, you jump jets while you are carrying the flag, so you're just gonna fall around like an idiot. Yeah, that's how it works. And you have to take it back to an unspecified point. So we have to get to another post. No, no, we're not changing classes, we're just going. We're just going, man. The good thing about this is it works well against uh, droids. It's like the rocket launcher of TF2. Except a tad more powerful, I think. And he has a... Yeah, he is the soldier. Jesus, what am I talking about? What happened? Oh, I think I killed an invisible wall. I don't know how that works. Anyways, we're just gonna try that again. Like, that didn't happen. It didn't happen, man. It didn't happen. So, back to the game place, per se. Mainly the point is to get the points or take out all the people. So it's either killing or capping points, TF2. It's, and sometimes there's capture the flag. Um, there's no pushing of any carts, sadly. But I suppose that's to be expected. And up we go. And it's time to massacre everyone here. Rocket launcher. Switch back to the pistol. Headshot, headshot. Get some more headshots. Come on. <laughs> this is a pretty fun game once you learn how to play it. You have to 
learn how to strafe from the rockets. Jesus Christ, I hate battle droids and their rockets. Uh, I better explain the classes eventually, but I'm not going to now. What I'm doing right here is not switching to the sniper class. I'm being the engineer so I can get some health and ammo. Just in case, you know. Yeah, it's a, it's a very wise decision just to fix up things as an engineer. I think with his fusion cutters, you can slice your way into enemy vehicles. And now, we need to snipe some people. Don't worry about the sniper, even if it's hard to kill some people. You have a large clip, so it's easy to, uh, to just constantly fire and just... I've played this mission like three times. I know how to do it. And you get the rocket launcher. And this is... There's like two soldier classes. There's this, the rocket, with the rocket launcher. This is mainly to like destroy things. I wouldn't... I suppose he would be more calculated to the demo man. Yeah. Although he plays more like the sol... No. No, never mind. The jet trooper plays the most like the soldier. Oh, now we get to play, uh, a hero. Let's do this. Mace Windu. Samuel L. Jackson will now destroy you and your robots. Nah, ha, ha, with the purple lightsaber. So how heroes work in this game, you know, normally, not stupid hero assault mode is the more kills you get, the higher your meter goes. If you get hit, the meter goes down. It goes down over time, so you have to kill or be killed. So you can just kill off, like, the animal life, like Geonosians or, uh, Wookiees. Or Gungans, yes, Gungans, especially the Gungans. Because screw Jar Jar Binks and his terrible habit of being Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. And lightsabers just tear up everything, as expected. And don't mind if you kill anyone, because you can turn friendly fire off if you if you just don't just want to keep swinging and swinging and swinging away. Because there are spy classes in this game. In the mod pack, I have you know the one I usually play with. There's like a a class for the for the rebels. That allows him to disguise as an enemy stormtrooper. And if you can attack from the disguise. And it's so overpowered. But they figure out who you are. And they just start to kill you. And capping points when they when the enemy only has one point left, point left is very, very dangerous. Because everyone spawns over there. Everyone just does. And as you can see, those dashes, the blue and red dashes up there, is usually the reinforcement count. But since this is the training mission, everything is unlimited because they have, like, a fresh army and they build things here. Oh, victory! 